Hi, I'm Eric with Home Network Central, and I'm going to show you how to factory reset your TrendNet router. Now, this same process will basically work for all the models, even if you don't have this same exact TrendNet router. Uh, most routers work the same, and I'll show you how to do it. And what this is going to do is reset everything to factory default settings. So it's going to remove any passwords you have on there, any settings you have. It's all going to be erased, and it's going to be just like you bought it new from the store. And all the information that you'll need to use the router once it's reset will be on the bottom, at least on this one. It's on the bottom, like the password and everything that you need to use this router. So if you forgot a password or something, this will help you solve that. First thing we're going to do is plug it into power. It needs to be powered on. So I'm going to plug it in. Also, if your router has a power button, make sure it's powered on. I know because this of this light up here. So I'm going to wait for this thing to boot up. And I'll be right back. So I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but the LED light started out orange when I booted it up and then when it was when it proceeded it turned green. It doesn't really look, when I look at my own screen, it doesn't look any different, but when I look at it with my naked eye, it went from orange to green. But anyways, this router is booted up, and what we want to do is find a button. There's a reset button. Sometimes you'll find them on the back here with everything else. Other times, like in this case, there's a little hole here that says reset. It might be the same thing. It might say reset with a little hole and it might be on the back for different models or whatever. But on this one, it's on the bottom. And it, it kind of looks like there's a button that's missing or something, but there actually is a button. It's just inside the hole. They make it, they put it inside a hole so you can't accidentally bump it and reset your settings by mistake. So they make it a little bit complicated. So you want to find a sharp object that'll fit inside this hole so you can press the button. A pen, I have this pen. This doesn't really work in this case with this router. It's not long enough. It doesn't, I mean, I could probably take the pen apart and whatever. But I actually have another object here. I have a shower, uh, shower curtain holder thing, whatever. It fits inside that hole. So if you push that in there, you'll feel a button inside that hole. So what I'm going to do is show you the front. And... Most routers that I've worked with, what I do is I hold that button in until I see the lights start flashing and changing and, you know, whatever. But this one works slightly different. And it took me a minute to figure this out. But So what you're going to do, just like any almost any other router, you're going to push your object in here and you're going to hold that button down for this one. This router is at least 15 seconds. So normally what I look for is I hold it down for 15 seconds, then I see the light change, and then I let go of the button. But this router is different. This router doesn't seem to give me any indication by changing anything. You just have to hold it down for 15 seconds and let go, and then a few seconds later, the process of, of resetting the router will take place, and then the lights will start changing. So I'll just show you. I'm going to prop up my camera here so, you can, so I can have, use two hands. And I'll show you. Watch the light. It's a green light right now. Come on, focus. Is it going to focus on the light? There we go. Meanwhile, I'm going to press in this button over here. So I'm going to press it in, and I'm going to hold it for 15 seconds. Starting now. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012, 1,013, 1,014, 1,015. So nothing's happening to the light, but I let go and just wait a few seconds. It's still green, it's still green. It's still green. You just gotta wait. There it goes. See, now the lights are changing. So you, it doesn't happen right when you let go of the button. You gotta wait a few seconds for it to look like it's doing anything. So what it's doing now is it's resetting the router and it's adding all the default settings back on there just like you bought the router new from the store and you just got it out of the box. So I hope that helped you. 
This one works a little bit different than most other routers I've worked with, so hopefully if you were having trouble, maybe that'll help you out. If it did, please give me a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching.